There she was, with the razor blade in her hand. My daddy's gonna be so pleased about this. I mean, he's just absolutely scared tiddly about snakes in this part of the country. I know that sounds terribly Freudian and everything, but in this case, I don't think it is. I mean, I think he's just simply and uncomplicatedly afraid of snakes, period, which is why I happen to be riding around with a razor blade and a bottle of potassium for manganese solution. You don't have enough handkerchiefs, do you? <laughs> no, of course you don't. Well, I don't either. I, I do have a Kleenex, but... Oh, well. Seriously, Daddy is going to be just thrilled about this. All summer long, he's been raving about snakes, and nobody's even seen one in our bed. I promise you one thing, it may be a little uncomfortable for you, but it's going to absolutely make his summer. Now, you just lie very still. Don't move. That's very important. I'll be right back with the car in a minute. You're lucky, young man, very lucky. If I were to tell you the statistics on death by snake bite every year, but in this case, I, I think oh, there's no swelling above or below. Hmm. Normal. Well, I must say there's a good chance you're going to live. You are not by any chance a mute, are you? <laughs> yes, sir. No. No. I want to thank you very much, Miss Miss Jordan. Miss Jocelyn Jordan. How do you do? Hi. And now, according to the quaint local custom, it's your turn to tell us what your name is. <laughs> My name is Raymond Shaw, sir. How do you do, Raymond? Is your place near here, Raymond? Yes, it's that red house just across the lake. The Ivy House? My house. It was my father's. My father's dead. He left it to me. We were told that that was the summer camp of Senator Iceland. Johnny stays there sometimes, sir. When he gets too drunk for my mother to allow him to be seen in Washington. My dear, although we've done everything that modern science recommends, there is still the traditional folk remedy against snake bite, which we haven't applied. So to be on the safe side. Mrs. Iceland is your mother? Yes, sir. I once found it necessary to sue your mother for defamation of character and slander. My name is Thomas Jordan, Senator Thomas Jordan. A communist? Well, one of your mother's more endearing traits is her tendency to refer to anyone who disagrees with her about anything as a communist. The last time she so referred to me on a network radio program, it cost her $65,000 and court costs. What hurt her more than the money, I think, was the fact that I donated all of it to an organization called the American Civil Liberties Union. Senator Jordan. Yes, Raymond. I would very much like to ask your permission, sir, to marry Jocelyn.
My dear girl, have you noticed that the human race is divided into two distinct and irreconcilable groups? Those who walk into rooms and automatically turn television sets on, and those who walk into rooms and automatically turn them off. You know, the problem is they usually marry each other, which naturally causes a great deal. Daughter of Senator Thomas Jordan and Korean war hero Raymond Shaw, stepson of Senator John Eisman. It appears, however, that this demonic capulet note will have little effect on the feud now raging between the two party leaders. From his campaign headquarters this morning, Senator Eislin stepped up his charges against the leader of the group, attempting to block his nomination. I now charge this man, Thomas Jordan, with high treason. And I assure you, the moment the Senate reconvenes, I shall move for this man Jordan's impeachment. And after that, a civil trial. Come the on, get dressed. Which can only be a We're driving down to New York. Go straight to your father's house. Please convey my personal apologies to him. I'll join you there later. Something I should have done a long time ago. I'm going to beat that vile, slandering son of a numbskull to a bloody pup.